Hey guys, this is Thomas from Nurse Money Talk, and in this video, I am going to go through and answer a series of questions all about the NCLEX quick results. Now, if you don't know what that is, then make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna answer that question. I'm gonna answer that in the very first question. But before I get to that though, um, I just wanna let you know that if you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also I would appreciate it, appreciate it if you find this video helpful to also hit that thumbs up. So more um, nursing students will be able to find this video. So let's start off with, with question number one, which is what exactly are the NCLEX quick results? So quick results are unofficial NCLEX results and make sure you pay attention because the unofficial part is key, but there are unofficial NCLEX quick, uh, results that you can receive in about two business days after taking your NCLEX exam. The NCLEX quick results don't really let you practice as, as a nurse. Um, that actually won't happen until um, the NCB, the um, the NCSBN website calls it your nursing regulatory b body, um, which just seems like a really fancy way just to say like whatever your state board of nursing is um, until they actually release um, the official results. So you'll have to wait for those to actually um, to actually practice. There was one about our NCLEX quick results accurate, considering they're coming. Um, from I think like Pearson View, um, I would assume they're 100% accurate as far as I could tell. I I couldn't find anybody um, who had complained about getting quick results that ended up not being the case. Um, but just once again, making sure that um, the key thing being that you can't practice until your actual official results come in. How long does it take to get the NCLEX quick results? So if your state actually participates so not every state actually participates in the NCLEX quick results, then you'll be able to, um, to get the quick results in about two business days or so um, after you take your NCLEX exam. Um, then um, there was one about somebody was asking if they're available on the weekends. Um, technically, no, since they, they technically say that it's two business days, which business days wouldn't count weekends. Though, funny enough, though, like when I was looking there, you know, some student, some, um, some students who take the NCLEX have reported getting the results on like Saturday or Sunday. So how does the NCLEX quick results actually work? So um, if your um, state actually participates, then you'll log back in, log back into Pearson View, and then you'll you'll get the option um, to actually um, get the quick results there. Do you have to pay for the NCLEX quick results? So they do charge you for the NCLEX quick results. Um, Right now, it's about $8, though, I mean, it's a possibility when you watch this video, it could be more, it could be less. Hey, for all I know, but by the time you watch this video, it could, could be free. I don't, I don't know, but, but as of right now, um, uh, it's, it's about $8, um, and, you know, like I said, it becomes available in your candidate profile. Do you get an email when your NCLEX quick results are ready? Um, as far as I know, you don't. Um, you actually have to log back in and check on that. Why are my NCLEX quick results not available? Um, if you don't see an option for quick results, just make sure a couple things. One, that your state is one of the ones that participates um, in the quick results. And then also make sure that it's been at least two business days um and i'll you know and as well make sure you're actually looking at the right spot for it as as well you know should you buy the nclex quick results that's one that i actually struggle with as as well on one hand it it kind of uh you know it's a little frustrating that um that for an exam that you already paid money for the quick results become available and it's it, it, you know, they clearly have the answers, you know, and you don't get the answers until you pay even more money. 
Um, so that's a little bit frustrating. Um, it almost seems like it's like nickel and diming up until the very, um, the very bitter end. So like I said, so that's frustrating to me, but with all that said, you can't really control for that. Um, I would probably recommend just going ahead and, and, and buying it. Um, just because I, you know, I, I think for most, it's probably a very, you know, it's probably going to be a small enough amount. Um, and which, you know, it's, it's, which I think it's probably why they, they priced it that way as well. So it's small enough to where you probably, you know, won't think too hard about buying it. Um, so I would probably go ahead and buy it because I think it just, you know, I, I think, you know, it just, it gives a peace of mind. I mean, and that's ultimately what it's going to be like, you know, if you can find out, a, you know, even if, if it's a day sooner, you know, if, if, if you can find out a, just a day sooner, I mean, I'd, I'd probably be willing to pay, you know, the, you know, the eight bucks or so or whatever, you know, just to be able to find out. So what does the, the NCLEX quick results look like? I have a link to a video. It's actually in the, the, the actual, the main article. Um, for this, and I'll put that in the in the links uh, in the link below. But it's pretty much a very plain looking page. Um, it'll have the name of the exam you took and the date you took the exam. Um, to the right of that, it'll list whether or not you passed or failed the exam. And then underneath that, um, looks like you'll see a list of all the exams, um, past exams you've taken. Um, the last question I'm going to answer is like, what do you do if the quick results say that you failed? Well. Um, I, I think it's one of those things where um, if you find out you'll, you'll, you failed, um, the, the first thing is just note that um, you not passing the NCLEX um, your first time does not make you a failure. Um, it just means, you know, you, you didn't pass the first go around, you know, there's going to be a lot of other students who are not going to pass the first go around. So you'll just need to regroup, um, review your, your candidate, um, performance report. Um, I have a video on just kind of like what happens if you don't pass the, the NCLEX that I'll put, um, up there as well, that you can definitely, um, check out. Uh, you know, the main thing is just really forming a, a game plan. You know, if you, you know, and, and like I said, I go, I go in more detail in that video, but just look at forming a game plan, figuring out, you know, why was it that you weren't very successful? Was it because you didn't study well? Was it because you didn't study at all? Was it because you didn't get a good prep course or, or the whole night, the whole nine yards, you just kind of figure all that out and then just kind of formulate a new game plan. But but like I said, definitely check out that video. I have some more resources as well, as long as with the, the NCLEX prep course that I recommend that, that will be in the descriptions below. Um, so just, um, so just let me know if you have like, um, any other questions, whether it be about NCLEX or just about life as a nurse. Um, so definitely let me know in the comments. You can also go to nursemoneytalk.com forward slash ask to ask your question. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you very soon in that next video.